This is the membrane electrolysis sound of chlorine alkali system. We have anode and cathode for electrolysis, and of course, the cation exchange membrane. 31% brine will be delivered into the anode room, and sodium hydroxide liquid will be sent into the cathode room. Salt is sodium chloride. We have sodium ions and chloride ions. During electrolysis, the negative chloride ions are attracted to the anode, lose electrons, and are oxidized to chlorine gas. And what's happening in cathode room? Water will be electrolysis, so we got hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. Hydrogen ions are attracted towards the cathode. Here, they gain electrons to form hydrogen gas. You may ask, we got hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions in the cathode room, then why we use sodium hydroxide liquid instead of water? Well, it's a good question. Adding sodium hydroxide can increase the ion concentration in the solution and enhance the conductivity. That's why we don't use water directly. The sodium ions in the anode room will pass through the ion exchange membrane and combine with the hydroxide ions in the cathode room to form sodium hydroxide. Why don't hydroxide ions pass through the ion exchange membrane to the anode room? Because this membrane is a cation exchange membrane. Only cations can pass through. So, only sodium ions can pass through. So, the liquid flowing out of the cathode room is a sodium hydroxide solution with a higher concentration. The anode room is salt water with reduced concentration. And this is the electron chlorination, also called chlorine alkali system. We check a leading manufacturer of electrochlorination system in China. We offer small and medium electrochlorination system for the purpose of producing chlorine gas, sodium hydroxide solution, or 10 to 15% sodium hypochlorite solution. 